Hi there and welcome to this edition of Certus Learning. I'm Peter Hofstede and today we're looking at the requirements to fire separate equipment. Some parts of a building have a greater need to remain operational in the event of fire or there are greater risk of being a fire source. In the first category are lift motor rooms, emergency generators, central smoke control plant and hydrogen sprinkler pump rooms. In the second category are electricity substations, main switchboards, boilers and battery rooms. Battery rooms need to be fire separated because the old style unsealed lead acid batteries gave off hydrogen gas which is highly flammable, even explosive. In most cases the minimum separation is a two hour fire rating. Clause C212 details the requirements for fire separation of equipment and subclause A5 describes a room containing a battery or batteries installed in the building that have a voltage exceeding 24 volts and a capacity exceeding 10 ampere hours. This clause has remained unchanged since the BCA was introduced, but battery technology has advanced significantly since then and the modern batteries don't pose the same risk. The draft changes for NCC 2019 reflect this by significantly increasing the battery capacity to a total voltage of 12 volts or higher and a storage capacity of 200 kilowatt hours or higher. A common use for batteries is in computer rooms which require an uninterrupted power supply in the form of a UPS battery to provide instant power to protect servers in the event of power failure. The capacity of UPS batteries has increased substantially and now it's not uncommon for UPS to exceed the maximum currently allowed under clause C212. Over the past few years we've been asked when is it necessary to fire separate a room containing a UPS? After all, fire separating computer rooms and fire stopping all the penetrations is an expensive exercise. At Certus we decided that if the UPS simply plugs into the wall, then it's an appliance, no different from the servers themselves or the microwave oven in the kitchen, and therefore the requirements would not apply. However, if the battery were to be hardwired, then it would be considered as part of the building, which would then trigger the need for fire separation or a performance solution. A clever deemed to satisfy solution that we've seen was to simply separate the UPS from the server room rather than fire separating the server room from the rest of the story. Points to note are the fire door, fire rated walls, mechanical exhaust to remove the heat and a ventilation louver protected with a fire damper to provide makeup air. This was quite a cost effective solution and I wish I could take credit for thinking of it. Well thanks for watching and remember if you need a quote for certification, access or energy, please consider Certus.